Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora up the back. Kia ora. Kia ora down the front. Kia ora. Kia ora in digital land. Kia ora. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for having me here and thank you for being a part of TED Talks today. Um, what I want to do is to take us on a wee journey. And it's a journey that's grounded here in Aotearoa. But it's a journey that actually spreads right across the country, right across uh, other parts of the world, and then comes back home. So kind of buckle up, <laughs> and uh, because uh, we're into this thingy thingy. <laughs> I can't be unless you can be, and then we can be also. So kia ora. Kia ora. Okay, that's the first key uh, to these sorts of things. So my big idea is around bringing us together. But first, first. In this crazy old world that we live in today, power seems to have all the say. People don't care about good clean air, just blowing each other away. Wonder inside where the answer might lie. Turn to the people today. Maranga might come on and give it a try. You show us the way. Because you're magic, magic people to me, magic people to me. With our heads held high, let our voices fly. We're proud to be Kiwi. <laughs> yeah. So coming out of the east coast of the North Island, the center of the, the very universe we all live in, there's certain lessons that come to mind as you spend your life, as you build your life's work, and as, like many things, quite uh, uh, unusual things become what your life work is. Whether it's starting, whether it's ending, whether it's on the way, uh, some of those lifelong uh, things that started when you were raised uh, have stayed with me, and that's part of my story. But first, whānau, the keys to this at the end of the game are words, are feelings, are notions. So you already have two. One of them is killed us, say that after me. And the other one is Kiwi. Say that after me. Kāpai. The part of the East Coast that I was raised in is the great part of the East Coast. It's the centre of the universe, the world, the entire country. And right in the middle of this part of the world is a great sentinel mountain. It's a great prominent land piece. It is a great mystical, mythical thing. It dominates the sky. It dominates the end of the valley which at one end is the Pacific Ocean, at the other end is the Sentinel Mountain, Hikurangi. Hikurangi is dominant across the Pacific Asia because it is resonant, resonant and repeated and named all across Polynesia, all across the Asia Pacific. And its dominance in our part of the east coast of the North Island of the New Zealand, the world center of the universe, <laughs> is this. It is the first mountain in the entire world to see the new day. It is the first peak to kiss the new sun. It is the first peak that brings into the harbinger of what might be in the day that follows. And for we who belong to that mountain, and that mountain who belongs to us, that sets up a prominent leadership paradigm about early rising, heralding a dawn, and then following through on a day that ends somewhere the other side of that other mountain, Taranaki. So you get where I'm coming from. So Hikurangi is the third key. So repeat after me, Kia ora. Kiwi. Ooh, let's do that again. Kia ora. Kiwi. 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 Hikurangi, Hikurangi, Hikurangi. Hikurangi. I want a bit of warmth. Hikurangi, Hikurangi, Hikurangi. Hold our pukas and go. Hikurangi, hikurangi, hikurangi. Let's do a bit of holding here. You know? <laughs> oh, that sounds like music to me. Because you see, uh, what I'm bringing is that this big idea is that from the ancient and from the Maori and from the indigenous, there are concepts, there are knowings, there is knowledge that could begin to recalibrate the kinds of opportunities we have as people, as nations, and as a uh, little blue waka we call the planet Earth. But first, we spent the day in Ted Talk Town. 
TEDx this, TEDx that. And some passionate, fine people have spent the day sharing these key ideas, these great ideas. And they've brought us on a journey from the beginning to the end. And the concept of TED Talk was organic, but actually at its heart is the screen behind me. Actually at the heart of TEDx and TED Talk is bringing people closer together, sharing key ideas. ideas. So you and I have spent the day being thinkers. You and I have spent the day being listeners. You and I have spent the day being a team of thinkers, some TEDx team, some TEDx family, some TEDx fano. I love that word. Some TEDx fano. Now, 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 before we get all enthusiastic, it's not fun, no, and it's not fun now, it's fun, no. After me, fun, no. All right, so how many words do we have now? We've got kia ora. Kia ora. We've got kiwi. Yeah. We've got hikura, hikura, hikura. Yeah. Ooh, that feels good. Ooh, <laughs> that feels good. And now we have this word whānau. And whānau, whānau, whānau is at the core of some of the relationships building that I want to talk about uh, that I'm a part of. So let me take us through the chart. Let me take us through the slide. Whānau. It's the act of giving birth. It means to be born. It means to be a family. It means to be a family by uh, biology or a family by proximity, interestingly. Whānau. Add a suffix and it starts to lengthen and it becomes whanaunga. Whanaunga. Now these guys come with the package. You know, they're beautiful or reprehensible, depending on who they are and what they do. But these are our relatives, and these are our relations. And sometimes the whanonga are not invited for Christmas. <laughs> and other times, we're always glad to see them and have them. But whether we like it or not, as family, as whanau, and as whanonga, and as humankind, they come with the deal. They're part of our greater humanity. Whanonga. Now we add another bit. You ready for this? Fanonga tanga. Let's just take our time. Fanonga tanga. Here we go. Fanonga tanga. Woo, great. Once more. Fanonga tanga. Now, a bit louder for the guys in DigiWeb world because they're all sitting there in their myopia and going, I don't think I can manage that word. Let's give them a go. Fanonga tanga. Again? Fanonga tanga. That's like that other one. Hikurangi, hikurangi, hikurangi. Hikurangi, hikurangi, hikurangi. Fanonga tanga are all the relationships that comprise our humanity. Whether they are modest, whether they are large, whether they are extended, whether they are proximate, whether they are global, whether they are company wide, whether they are team based, whether they are family based, whether they are clan based. These are the core to our societies. These are the core to the kinds of calls we've made on ourselves as the speakers have rolled ourselves forward across the TEDx today. So, turn to your left, and I want you to say, Kia ora whanaunga. Ah, 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 excuse me, you're over the left. Here we go. <laughs> Let's turn to our right and go, Kia ora whanaunga. Thank you very much. Because you're magic people to me, magic people to me. With your heads held high, let your voices fly. We're proud to be Kiwi. Let's review. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kiwi. 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 And now we have some new keys. Fano. Fano. Fanonga. Fano. Fanonga tanga. I lead and uh, help to look after an organisation that takes care of 32,000 students in this country and their families. I'm part of a chairmanship for a global alliance that reaches across borders in higher education. I'm part of a network of uh, troublemakers, actually. <laughs> you know, troublemakers. And, and, and before I proceed with this troublemaking, I'm troubled because I have to come back to the, to the thing. Being born and bred on the east coast of the North Island of New Zealand, the centre of the universe and the world, Part of the lessons go like a bit like this, and you'll understand why as I script the rest of our time together. 
part of our lessons are that it's always better to make dust than eat dust. The second thing is it is always better to never let your education interfere with your learning. The third thing is always hang out with the, with the troublemakers and the leaders, not the idiots. Because the troublemakers and the leaders always get more done across the time. So with that in mind, uh, I help look after this organisation. It's an organisation that cares for 32,000 uh, students across this country. It's an organisation that's in over, I think it's about 104 towns, uh, somewhere near you, and somewhere near where your Fanunga live. This organisation is a Wananga, and is currently escalating people's achievement from basics through to postgraduate here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. It runs across 11 campuses and it runs across the entire network of New Zealand, Aotearoa. It's based solely on Māori values, it's Māori driven and yet open to the world. Because our view is that whanaunga and whanaunga tanga and whānau belong in every effort we can make to construct change and contribution going forward. But the interesting thing about this organisation is that it has global alliances. And they're already across continents. We're in the space where uh, we're ready to sign off accreditation agreements and new alliances around PhDs and how knowledge is captured and what knowledge counts and what counts as knowledge. Because those are the critical features of how we have been kind of rinsed and purcelled away from traditional truths that are now being brought back onto the radar. And you and me, Fanunga, are right at the hub of this kind of emergent. Yes, it's emergent. Yes, it's new. And yes, it's probably f fervent. But remember, we come from a legacy that's better to make dust than eat dust. And so with that in mind, we're building this alliance. Yes, what if that? What if that? And it brings us directly into the rub between the position of indigenous communities, the in position of indigenous peoples, and what kinds of solutions could be created. So I want to run through with you a series of what ifs that we need to ask ourselves, and then I'll give you an answer about why this is happening or why it isn't happening. So imagine, for example, what if the Inuit, anybody know where the Inuit live? Very indigenous. Very cool for Nunga. The Inuit live north. <laughs> you know? I don't know what we did before Google, but Google it. You know? <laughs> Life should be categorized as AD, BC, and BG, because that's what we do today. Inuit. They have 24 plus names for the word snow. And currently, what if those 24 plus names for the word snow were being currently explored as predictors of geoseismic activity? What if? What if the Hawaiians and their knowledge of breadfruit, which is actually why Captain Cook was in this part of the world, what if the Hawaiians and their knowledge of breadfruit created a new genus which provided the kind of fibre foods, in fact, some people talked about today. What if young Maori people in Tolaga Bay were consulting with the Smithsonian on the transit of Venus? What if the Maori navigators and astronomers were guiding NASA on new ways forward around bringing space navigation and the future of exploration into purview. All of those examples, all those what-ifs I've uh, stated are all rolling now. And so my point is, from these, foreign, uh, sorry, from these uh, uh, traditional ancient ways of knowing, new options, new deliberations, and new opportunities can be bought. A far cry from 100, 200, maybe 300 years ago when a process rinse knowledge out of indigenous and in, uh, traditional systems. So this organisation that I work with, we are building uh, these kind of global alliances
to bring those knowledges back. Some other what ifs. What if an institution were to find as its founding document the entire United Nations Direct Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, which actually four democracies were late to sign. Ours, shamefully, was one of them. Canada was the other one. The Australians were the other guys, and the USA was the other one. But it's all signed up now. And just as once upon a time there was a United Nations Declaration on Human Rights, which now is a standard bearer, time is here where we've created a WWW organization. It doesn't mean World Wide Web in our parlance. It means World Wide Wananga. <laughs> a place for whānau, for nonga, for nonga tanga, kitted out on indigenous and ancient and Māori-based values open to the world. Kitted out so that it's already begun to deliver its own PhDs, its own research, and that's bringing into play other options for us. So whānau, I just want to do a backtrack there. Everybody still with me? Here we go. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kiwi. Kiwi. Hikura. Hikura. Ooh, say that again. Come on, say it again. Here we go. Say it again. Hikura, hikura, hikura. Actually, that's how we should do it. Hold your hands up. Hikura, hikura, hikura. That's got to be good for us. Then Fano. Fanonga. Fanonga tanga. Let me introduce to the, you to this one. In order to make the kinds of judgments around what knowledge counts and what counts as knowledge, we had to ask ourselves the following sets of questions. Is it pono, truthful? Is it tika, is it right? Is it hono, sorry, is it aroha, does it lift us up? Is it hono, does it join us together? Is it about us all and is it for us all? And in terms of our criterion, when we ran through those five questions, we found the answers that if we get ticks on all of those, we'll do that work. So Fano, in a rap, after me, Pono, pono. Tika, tika, Aroha, Aroha. Hono, hono. Tato. Tato. Systems built across nations with Fano at the corn at the centre, and these questions about is it good for us are uh, wrapped around. So in closing, you can all kind of unbuckle now, we're kind of In the words of the late great statesman and eminent leader of the Ngati Pro people of the East Coast, North Island, the centre of the world, the universe. <laughs> Let me close with this song and then we'll join together to sing at the end. In this Itipuerea ingara o to ao arahi a to iwie to ngako ki nga tupuna to wairua ki te ariki Ke akoto katoa te rangatahi te ara mo te ao katoa kia mau kia upupuritia te mana o nga tupuna because you're magic, magic people to me, magic people to me. Let your voices cry, keep your heads up high. We're proud to be Kiwi. Odiora. <laughs>